What's up, collective? Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy hump day, okay? I hope you all have a beautiful day. I hope you guys have been enjoying your week so far. Let's get into your early tea message. Let's see what's going on. All right, let's see what's in the energy, what messages Spirit has for y'all. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there, okay? Everything may not be your message. Please come in and use your discernment wisely what's up y'all what's going on with y'all oh also keep in mind that the roles are interchangeable as well i meant to say that if i didn't <clears throat> all right y'all oh i just saw the temperance card somebody could be a saggy oh, you could be dealing with a saggy but let's see what's going on Father God, Holy Spirit, angels and ancestors, I call out to you during this time. I ask that you guide me, help give me clear and accurate messages for my divine collective today. What is it that they need to know? Allow me to see things clearly. Thank you for these clear and accurate messages, Father God, Holy Spirit. Thank you for covering me, shielding me, protecting me as I channel this energy. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you for blessing us for another day. What messages do you have for my divine collective, please? And thank you. Father God, Holy Spirit, let me get four more shuffles. What's going on with my divine collective? What is it that they need to know? Give me two more shuffles. What is it that you want to tell them today, Father God, Holy Spirit? This is for my beautiful divine collective. Please and thank you. Let's see what's going on today, y'all. Let's see what's happening. Somebody here could be eating Lorna Dune cookies. I haven't had one of those cookies in a long time. Um, Lorna Doom, yeah, those like shortbread cookies. Those are really good, actually. Damn, now I want some. Or Girl Scout cookies or something like that. Somebody like uh, shortbread cookies. Lorna Dunes or um, Girl Scouts. All right. <laughs> but let's see. We got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. We got the Emperor in the upright. We got the King of Cups in the reverse. We got the Queen of Swords in the upright. We got the Eight of Cups here. And we got the Four of Swords in a reverse. And then we got the King of Pentacles in a reverse at the bottom of the deck. King of Pentacles in reverse, King of Cups reverse could be the same person, could be the same energy, or it could be two different people. Um, very um, low vibrational masculine energy, okay? King of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Cups reverse. All right, but let's see what's going on. Why is the King of Pentacles in a reverse here? Give me something on this King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, six of swords in the reverse, to the ace of cups in the reverse, to the queen of wands, ten of swords, eight of wands in the reverse. Okay, so somebody here wanted to um, fuck you over in some kind of way, collective, and they can't do it. <laughs> they can't do it. They feel like they missed up their chance to do something. All right, this king of pentacles in the reverse feels like they missed their chance to do something. Somebody, I just heard somebody here feels like something went down the drain. Okay? It went down the drain. Somebody here missed a chance to do something. This is somebody that wanted to travel towards you, Queen of Wands. Whoever you are, you're showing up as the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords here. You can have strong fire or air in your chart. But there's a King of Pentacles in the reverse that was really gun-ho on coming towards you in some way. But, uh... Yeah, you're not talking to this person. For some of y'all, you may have this person blocked or if they're trying to contact you or hitting you up, you're not answering. Like you shutting somebody down or you being defensive and guarded has like stopped something from actually taking place, stopped something from happening. Like you would have actually needed to, you would have had to actually like communicate with this person in order for something to happen here, something something significant about you not communicating with this person through like a monkey wrench in their twisted plan. Because this person had this person didn't have uh, good intentions here. So it's a good thing that you're not talking to this person or that you you ignored this person. Some of y'all you didn't even some of y'all may have not even gotten contacted by this person or been alerted that they tried to contact you because you could already have this person blocked for some of you. Yeah, you stand in your ground with this person. I also feel like, yeah, because they wanted to come in and manipulate you in some way. 
And there's a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse that's also connected to this person. And now this person is pissed off. So this was a group effort here. I, why, for some reason, I feel like somebody here wants to give you a phony love offer. And I know that that's a bit redundant, right, Collective? Because I've said that in other readings in the in the past, right? But um, that's what I'm getting. It's like somebody here wanted to emotionally manipulate you and come towards you. Now, this could be like um, a business opportunity, somebody acting like they want to work with you. But for some of y'all, this was actually romantic. Like this person was going to come in and pose as a romantic love interest. Okay. But um, yeah, no, it's, it's a no. There could be um, a queen of pentacles. In it. Well, there is, a, not could be, there is, excuse me. There is a queen of pentacles in a reverse that's upset because the plan didn't work. This queen of pentacles in reverse is attached to this king of pentacles in reverse. These two people work together here and they're mad because something here is just not going to work. I'm hearing that the plan is 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 done. Like somebody here is saying that the plan is over. It is it, just, is no sense in it. <sighs> Give me something on this magician and a reverse energy. Three of Wands. I also feel like somebody here was waiting for you to take some sort of action, but you didn't. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles in reverse is, it's King of Pentacles in reverse. These two people are upset. This could be a man and a woman, masculine and feminine energy here. But these two people are upset here with the temperance in the reverse. They have, they're mad because they couldn't manipulate you. They're also mad because they was waiting for you to take some sort of codependent action. You were supposed to do something collective out of desperation or codependency. But the thing is, is that you're not someone that's desperate or codependent, which is why you didn't take some sort of action that somebody was expecting you to. Whoever's been trying to like fuck with y'all or, you know set you up and do stupid shit and do fucked up shit to y'all right it's like these people think they know you but they don't like somebody here think they know what you would do or how you would move and it's like that's because that's how their codependent asses would move but not you your mind is a powerful tool collective and i'm hearing that somebody here can't figure you out they can't understand how you think because they really size you up wrong i'm hearing that somebody here underestimated you somebody here thought you was a fucking fool honestly you know no disrespect collective but somebody here thought y'all was a fucking fool they thought you was like a, a little slow or just very codependent because you supported you supposed to take some sort of action here towards somebody or let somebody in or contact somebody or say something to somebody and that just didn't work i'm also hearing that there was some sort of spell that could have been attached to whatever this is and it's like in order for the spell to actually work, you would have to communicate with this person. Okay, 808 on the clock as I say that. Some of y'all could be seeing 808, 818, something significant about eights. Okay, but I'm getting 808 for sure. I'm hearing boom like an 808, making circles like a figure eight. You know it feels good from head to toe. Mm -hmm, here we go You'll be going Ooh, baby, ooh, baby, boom, And I'll be going Ooh, baby, ooh, baby, ooh Boom like an 808 Boom like an 808 <laughs> Remember that song, y'all? That's a throwback, okay? Skeeter's the one for me Remember Cousin Skeeter? <laughs> Yo, okay Um, But yeah Boom like an 808 something significant about 808 you may want to look that up or some of y'all definitely been seeing 808 um but this is your confirmation if you have been seeing 808 but yeah you're supposed to take like in order for something here to work especially if there's spell work attached to this which i feel like for some of you it definitely is here is what i'm seeing in order for something to actually like kick off or jumpstart or work, you were supposed to communicate with somebody, but damn it, you didn't answer the call. You didn't respond to the text or the, or whatever form of communication came towards you. You didn't fucking respond or it just never got delivered for some reason. And like I said, for some of you, it could be because you blocked this person. I'm also hearing that somebody is driving around a home that you used to live at. 
So this person could be trying to run into you collective, but they're driving somewhere where you no longer reside. You don't even hang out over there no more. You don't be over there no more. Yeah. This person feel like they, they blew it. They feel like you released them completely and, and they feel like their their plan is, <laughs> it, it is no plan anymore. Yeah, they wanted to cause some sort of illusions for you. Everything I'm saying is the truth. Thank you for the confirmation, Holy Spirit, Ace of Swords. Yeah, they wanted to play games, basically. This person wanted to play games and that shit just did not work out the way that they hoped it would. Yeah, because you were supposed to be codependent and they're upset because you're not. For some of you, you were you struggled with codependency in the past, okay? And that's the beautiful thing about healing, growing, and evolving. Some of y'all have learned those those karmic lessons and those tough lessons and went through those tough cycles in regards to self-love and codependency and releasing unhealthy attachments when it's time and choosing yourself, loving yourself first. This person remembers you when you were one way. That's why I said whoever this is, they underestimated you, collective, because you're not even like the same person anymore. Like you, you always you, right? But it's like you've healed, you've grown, you've evolved so much to a point where that old past version of yourself, you no longer resonate with. You don't move or think the way you used to. Your mindset has changed. I'm hearing I'm loving the person that I'm becoming. That's a beautiful thing. That's a great thing, collective. You know, and this person remembers how you were when you used to deal with them or when you used to fuck with them. And that's not who you are anymore. So this is somebody that's still holding on to a past version of you. But I don't even want to say that this person is like, please don't take that as holding on as in they want y'all. This was a setup that I done picked up on. This is some kind of set up here, some sort of spell work that was supposed to be done on you, but you were supposed to communicate with somebody in order for it to actually have some sort of effect, or at least that's what they feel, you know, because for some of you, you could have answered this person and the shit still ain't going to work because you chosen like that for real, for real. If you know, you know, but in their mind, you were supposed to communicate in order for something to work. So because you're not communicating, because you're not saying anything then you know it's not going to work. That's how somebody feel. This person is upset. They mad. Oh, well, I'm stay mad. The fuck? Clarify this will of fortune in the reverse. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at that. Well, would, would you look at this? Well, look at here. We just clarified the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse with the Judgment in the reverse. And God damn it, right behind it on the top of the deck is the Tower reverse. Oh, somebody getting they ass tossed the fuck up. <laughs> okay, Judgment, Wheel of Fortune, and the Tower all in the reverse, back to back. I clarified the Wheel of Fortune with the Judgment in the reverse and the Tower in the reverse was right behind that. Oh, yeah, yeah, somebody getting that ass, that somebody getting that ass tossed the fuck up. Just for even trying to deceive you. Just for even trying to sneak you. But they could be saying, but we ain't even, you know, I ain't even get to really do it for real, for real. Like, it didn't even really work on the collective. Yeah, but you still getting that ass tossed the fuck up just for the intention, just for the attempt. Somebody here, I told you, this is bullshit. Like, somebody here really wanted to sneak you, snap, stab you in the back, come towards you smiling, wearing a mask, but got seven swords behind their motherfucking back. Somebody here can have a beard. Somebody here can have a bald head. So, okay. Somebody here can have a beard and a bald head. Y'all take it as it resonates. Yeah, this person mad as hell. <laughs> Yep, they heavily burdened and weighed down because this person feels like they in the Five of Pentacles. Their karma is the Five of Pentacles. This person knows that you don't trust them or that you wouldn't trust them if they were to come towards you. Like you wouldn't let your guard down with this person, which is why you showing up as the Queen of Swords. You wouldn't let your guard down with whoever this is. This person could be an Aquarius, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, a Sagittarius, a Gemini, or they could have that in their chart somewhere. 
But whoever this is, they know that you're not going to let your guard down with them because they know that you don't trust them. They know you don't trust them. They know you don't really fuck with them. They know you don't want to be bothered, pretty much. Yeah, because they know that you're a high priestess. Somebody here know you very intuitive. And that shit is like grinding their gears. It's making their ass itch. Your intuition is really fucking irritating somebody. It's upsetting somebody because they can't get away with the bullshit they want to get away with. Somebody mad because they can't finesse you and set you up in some way because you're too intuitive. It's like collective no they know they know i'm a snake they know i'm a snake even though i'm coming through with a smile you know collective no i got seven swords behind my back <laughs> you know like this person know that you be knowing this shit oh well tell them leave you alone tell them since you know since you know that then leave me the fuck alone get out the energy the fuck <laughs> play about a high priestess yeah collective you showing up as the queen of swords and the high priestess okay so you very um on guard you know hyper alert type shit like you definitely on guard here yeah you freed yourself from this person and they're mad because they feel like you're going into a two of cups situation or you already in a two of cups situation they pissed off about that for some of y'all this person could be a scorpio as well they could be um a scorpio a virgo taurus capricorn a saggy or a gemini they could have that in their chart or an aquarius but it, either way, collective, this person knows that you freed yourself from them and their energy and you're not fucking with them on any level, not even being cordial or just being friendly or just being pen pals, just talking. It's a no for all of the above. Like you want absolutely nothing to do with this person and they know that. But with the two of cups here and the four of wands, they feel like this is what you're going into. They feel like you're going into some sort of partnership, some sort of equal give and take connection um they feel like you're getting your wishes granted okay four of wands 11 11 y'all know i call the four of wands the 11 11 card some of y'all could also be seeing 11 11 4 4 4 2 2 2 808 again with that 808 that shit is just sticking with me but um yeah they know they know that you're going into some sort of two of cups four of wands situation and that's why the emperor's here too yeah they know that you're making a decision to go into a two of cups situation, two of swords, two of cups to the four of wands, and here go uh, big daddy right here, you know, here go big big daddy right here, <laughs> the emperor, that's who you're going to have a two of cups, four of wands situation with collective, and this person knows that you're making a solid decision to have that, or this emperor's making a solid decision to have that with you, you both are making a decision to have that with each other, and this person is pissed the fuck off because they know that this cycle has closed out with their asses. They're an outsider. They're a third party. I'm hearing they're a non-motherfucking factor. They feel like you got clarity on the situation. You do. You're showing up as the high priestess. They feel like you got clarity on the situation. They also feel like you're happy. These people are gossiping about this. Okay, so we got two people here, which was a king of pentacles in the reverse and a queen of pentacles in the reverse. But we could have even more than that because I really do feel like it's more than just the king and the queen of pentacles in the reverse. I feel like it's even more than that. It's more than that. But these people are talking right now and they're gossiping about the fact that, you know, somebody here couldn't take from you or somebody here couldn't set you up or you don't want to be friends with somebody or you don't want to connect with somebody because you know not to talk to them. You know not to trust them. It's like you walking away completely. You shut the door completely. Cycle closed. You shut the door, pulled the gate down, threw away the fucking key. Okay, eight of cups here and the world, five of pentacles, like the shit is clipped. Eight of cups is you walking away, the world card is this cycle being closed out, never to be opened again. Yeah, you don't want to fucking be bothered, the hermit. Some of y'all could have, uh, you could be a Virgo for some of you that resonate with this, or you could have strong Virgo placements for some of y'all, but you a hermit, you a hermitess. You could be somebody that's just very wise, wise beyond your years is what I'm hearing. A wise, wise beyond your years is what I just heard. But yeah, somebody here is 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 um like in their head about that with the nine of swords. Like somebody here is in their head about your intuition, you being wise, you making a solid decision to have a two of cups, four of wands with a real emperor. You know, like somebody here just really annoyed about that because they know that you're going to have the Ten of Pentacles with this emperor. So you and this emperor is going to build a really beautiful life together or this is what you're currently doing. 
and somebody here is like, wow, you're not crying over me. So somebody here thought you was going to be crying over them. That's why I said somebody here thought you was going to take some sort of action and be codependent. But you freaked this whole situation. You fucked up somebody whole fucking, um, you know, malevolent is what I heard. Malevolent. That was a movie, too. I seen that movie not too long ago. Malevolent. But malevolent plan. OK, like somebody here just had a wicked plan here to take from you or to deceive you or hurt you in some way. But like I say, you would have to actually be communicating with this person back and forth. You would have to actually give them access to your energy. Something here about you communicating with somebody and uh, giving them access to you. Like you would have to actually grant them access to you. You would have to actually be open to seeing this person, talking to this person for this shit to have actually taken off is what these people feel. But, um, Somebody here is is upset here in the nine of swords. They they tempers reverse nine of swords here. Somebody here is worried now. Yeah, somebody here heartbroken, heartbroken and worried. Three of swords, nine of swords, heartbroken, worried in their head, concerned. Yeah, because look, it, their their malicious plans have been exposed in some way. That's how somebody feel. Justice in the reverse and the moon reverse here. Somebody here feels like their magic has been illuminated. Uh, you know where it's coming from or you have an idea collective. Somebody here knows that you know not to fuck with them. You know not to trust them. Again, with you being uh, hyper alert and sensitive to energies and just being very intuitive. The moon reverse and the justice reverse. Somebody here feels like the injustice that they have planned for you has been exposed in some way. And they're heartbroken about this shit. Somebody is actually heartbroken about this. This is past people that was doing this. I told you it was more than one person. Now we got an empress in the reverse that's appearing. There's a karmic woman here. This could be somebody that's even in y'all family or somebody that was a close friend at one point. Somebody that's a friend of the family or somebody that you grew up with. So again, with y'all having toxic ass past people, y'all removing yourselves from toxic past people. These people still feeling some type of way that you removed yourself and your energy from them these people are upset about this but oh well you showing up as the queen of cups someone that's very loving very giving very kind very compassionate and this you got a king of cups in the reverse here so you the queen of cups in the upright this person is the king of cups in the reverse somebody here is mad because you went through a transformation you heal somebody here all up in their head they like wow you really worked on yourself you really healed are you fucking kidding me like somebody here is really mad that you really healed and now you're attracting a divine masculine a divine counterpart or you have attracted this already and with the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles you building a beautiful life with an emperor somebody is fucked up in the head over this shit about your transformation about your growth about the fact that you're not dealing with situations that don't serve you for your highest good you've made a conscious decision to only entertain things that align with your higher self things that's going to help you evolve grow and build a beautiful life you've chose you've chose to sever ties with all past karmic energies and i'm also getting a message here that you it's like you've made a promise to yourself that anything that doesn't align with the life that you're building and creating for yourself you're um dismissing it you know you're dismissing it you're rejecting it and this is this is where the issue lies for these past people because they don't align with the life that you're currently manifesting for yourself somebody here is um toxic they like a tyrant a bully okay like i said this is like toxic masculinity is what i'm picking up on karmic masculine energy or in the reverse here somebody here definitely is like a fucking bully here somebody that abuses their power and somebody that's non-committal somebody here that is just going to try to put you in a very unstable karmic cycle with them yet again which would only lower your vibration yeah this person showing up as the king of wands in the reverse somebody here that's a player somebody here that just want to sleep with you or somebody here that just you know want to play games with you waste your fucking time somebody that you definitely wouldn't be building the ten of pentacles or the ten of cups with 
and somebody here wanted you to make a codependent decision, uh, a codependent de decision, excuse me. Somebody here wanted to put you in a codependent situation, okay, a situationship, an entanglement, but they felt like you was going to be codependent and just, um, you know, entertain this, accept this, or go for this, but you're not going for that shit. King of Cups in the reverse and the King of Wands reverse and the High Front reverse. Somebody here really thought that you was going to be like, okay with this shit like maybe before you was you know you used to be okay with stuff like that but no not anymore yeah somebody here is now upset somebody here could be a cancer a taurus a leo they could have that in their chart but somebody here really was going to like give you some sort of fake ass offer it's not going down you have no attraction for this person again you just you just done with all the bullshit it's like these past people really need to understand this i feel like they do understand it and now they just mad but collected this is your confirmation that you made the right choice to not entertain whoever this is from your past because i'm getting a part of this was a setup and then another part of this was to block your blessings as far as you building a beautiful life with your actual divine counterpart by you um investing in a situation that was going to actually lead nowhere it would have just been a car another karmic cycle that would have been very similar to your past situations and it just would have been unfulfilling and somebody here thought you was codependent and you was just going to be okay with that like you was going to want that somebody here really wanted you to take care of them is another thing that i'm hearing like somebody here wanted to come back into your life so that you can take care of them i would hope that y'all wasn't on that type of time in the past but hey to each his own like i said we all have grown tremendously maybe some of y'all used to you know splurge on on your partners your lovers or whatever but somebody here thought you was going to take care of their ass you know one thing about me is what i'm gonna say even though even though even through all the karmic lessons and cycles and the codependency and loving yourself and uh releasing unhealthy codependent attachments and choosing yourself first right even though i went through that as well we all have it's like I never was the type to actually take care of a motherfucker. Like, I'm not taking care of you. <laughs> and, I, you know, somebody here really thought they was going to come in and you was going to take care of them. <laughs> this person definitely smoked crack, okay? They they got to. Some, somebody here got to. I mean, I, I just feel like they do. They have to. Like, because, I mean, I, I'm just speaking for me personally. Like, because when did I ever take care of a motherfucker? So, you know, but somebody here thought that that was going to be the vibe. They thought that's what was about to happen. And, uh, yeah, it's a no. <laughs> you know, it's really a fuck no. It's really a fucking no. Collective, you got the three of cups here. It's time for you to celebrate. Okay, so, yeah, definitely celebration coming in for you. Somebody here feels like it's an injustice for you to be celebrating, for you to have a divine partner for you to be in a divine union that's sacred for you to be building the ten of pentacles and ten of cups somebody's in the ten of swords about you being in the ten of cups ten of pentacles about you living a, a beautiful life and having a partner that's by your side that's gonna love you that's gonna really uplift you and inspire you and motivate you it's like somebody here feels like that's an injustice like you're not supposed to have that the only thing you good for is you know karmic cycles that ain't going nowhere and that's because that's all they have to offer whoever this person is they haven't healed they haven't transformed they haven't evolved like you and so they just feel like you know you you just good for what it is that i have to offer you supposed to be okay with third party situations you supposed to be okay with the bullshit that i have to offer which is completely nothing if you ask me i feel like for some of y'all somebody here all they have to offer is dick and it's like well if that's all you have to offer then baby go out and sell it and bring me back the money but i feel like that mother fucker wouldn't even be that thorough to do that for you because this person really wanted to take your motherfucking money i'm telling you somebody here thought you was going to take care of them collective somebody here thought they was going to come in and you was going to take care of them <laughs> yeah four pentacles here this person was like yo i gotta go back to the collective they gonna look out for me they gonna take care of me and then another person was like you know this this manipulation and spell work gonna work you know all we gotta do is talk and you know i'm gonna set them up and i'm gonna just take from them so you got one person that actually wanted to act like they wanted a connection with you so that they could just sleep with you and benefit from you know your energy and also benefit from you in some way where you were supposed to be taking care of them which i think is crazy but then you also got another person here that was working together with multiple 
multiple people that thought you was going to impulsively make a decision to just be communicating with somebody from your past out of nowhere and it was going to lower your vibration again and the next thing you know these people actually set you up while you in this person's presence like somebody here wanted to lure you in to a setup in some way yeah none of this shit is working it's clipped it's all clipped these people mad as hell like i said yeah this emperor in the reverse is tight okay because somebody is actually coming in as the king of cups somebody that's very loving so this emperor in the reverse is the king of cups in the reverse okay somebody that has no love in their heart somebody that's very arrogant very set in their ways very narcissistic qualities and traits like absolutely the fuck not you got a king of cups emperor here okay y'all see the difference king of cups in the upright and the emperor in the upright and then we got the emperor in the reverse and the king of cups in the reverse spirit just confirmed that you know this is what you got this is what you investing in this is what you building with and this is what was supposed to come towards you and you were supposed to be okay with because you know you were supposed to be manipulated in some way into fucking with somebody again that you've actually healed from you've healed a lot from this person this is somebody that y'all used to deal with that you healed from and somebody here is really confused because they could have thought you know, you parading around like you healing with some bullshit. Somebody here thought you was fronting. You was showing up in the world as somebody that's healing and evolving and on some sort of spiritual journey. And this person thought you was just, you know, blowing smoke up everybody's ass. Like you was just out here bullshitting. But you was really behind the scenes, really doing the work on yourself. And so you don't make the same, you know, poor choices as far as connecting with motherfuckers that don't serve you for your highest good. <laughs> you don't make those decisions anymore, collective. If somebody here is tight... They're tied. And somebody here just really wanted to sleep with y'all too. Like somebody here just wanted to hit it one more time. Like that's an that's another thing I'm seeing. Like somebody here, that's all they had to offer. That's why I told you, like, tell this motherfucker, go out and sell it and bring you the money back if that's all they have to offer. If you want to talk to me so bad, go ahead and sell that shit. I don't want to sleep with you. Go ahead and sell that shit to them hoes that's desperate that want to sleep with you and make sure that you bring me the money back. Okay, pimp this motherfucker out. Since they want to try to come play you and play with your mind, your body, your heart. Uh-uh. Go play with them other hoes out there. Okay? And bring me the fucking money back. <laughs> Pimp this motherfucker out since they think they they think they smart. Okay? The fuck out of here. This shit is a no. All right, collective. I'm going to talk to y'all. I hope that this message has reached the right ears, gave you guys some sort of confirmation, clarity, or guidance. Thank you for tapping in with your girl. Have a beautiful day, you guys. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Peace.